Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Sometimes recipes are made out of necessity. When my husband and I were in Mexico, we couldn't find that simple condiment. When push comes to shove, the only solution was to make it from scratch. It was good, although it was missing some ingredients. So when we came back home, I decided to make more. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my homemade sweet relish. Having all the ingredients on hand, this condiment tastes even better than the ones from the store. The ingredients are fresh, plus there's no preservatives. Bonus. So my friends, let's get cooking. We'll go ahead by prepping our vegetables. I usually use my food processor to chop them finely, but this time I decided to use this instead. It works great, but if you prefer the ingredients finer, stick with the food processor. <laughs> so when we're done, we'll place them in a large bowl and stir the ingredients together before adding some pickling salt. We'll add cold water, just enough to cover, and let it sit for two hours. A couple hours later, we'll drain the vegetables into a colander lined with cheesecloth. We'll rinse them well under cold water and let them drain. Meanwhile, we'll make the brine. So in a large pot over medium-high heat, we'll add white vinegar and granulated sugar. We'll bring the mixture to a boil and stir until the sugar is all dissolved. To this, we'll add celery seeds, then mustard seeds, and ground turmeric. We'll give a quick stir before dropping in our vegetables. We'll stir once again and bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat to medium and simmer for 15 minutes. Now, if there's a little foam forming on the surface, we'll take our spoon and skim it off. We don't need that. So, 15 minutes later, we'll remove from the heat and start filling up our sterilized jars. I won't go into details about canning, but if you want to see a great tutorial video on it, click on the top right corner of the screen. After wiping the rims, placing the sterilized lids, and applying the screw bands, we're ready to process our jars. We'll go ahead and carefully transfer the jars in a boiling water bath. When the water returns to a steady boil, we'll set our timer and process for 10 minutes. When processing time is up, we'll place them on a wire rack and as the jars cool off, the lids will snap down, which means the jars are sealed. Now they're ready to be enjoyed. And my friends, this is how homemade sweet relish. This is a tasty and versatile condiment. Obviously, it can be used on hot dogs and hamburgers, but also in Thousand Island dressing, tartar sauce, picnic salads, deviled eggs, and so on. This recipe is a great way to use up your garden-grown cucumbers. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!